Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new, hello, my name is Yamila and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my foundation routine, which to me is one of the most important parts of my whole makeup. If your foundation's looking rough, Obviously, everything is not going to mix well together. If you're new to my channel and you don't know me, then you probably don't know that I used to suffer from really, really, really bad cystic acne. Textured, red, swollen. My face was honestly, my face has been through a lot. I do still have a lot of scarring. I have still have redness that I'm dealing with. And here and there, I get a couple blemishes, but obviously not as when I used to suffer from like acne. And if you're someone out there that, you know, you're going through it with your skin, trust me, it will get better. You just have to be patient and you have to look for the right products. I just want to put this out there for anybody that, you know, even if you don't have bad skin, but you just don't know how to actually get the best coverage out of your foundation. Like, I just want to show you what I do and what I use to get my foundation. And of course, before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's dive right into it. So the first step to my routine is moisturizer. And I cannot stress this enough. I know that everybody talks about it, but in case you didn't know, please, 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 and I emphasize this, please. Moisturize your face right before you do your makeup because trust me, it will help your makeup stay on for a lot longer. I use this one and I talk about it in all my videos and it's the Clinique Gel Moisturizer. This thing is amazing. When I first bought it, I just got the travel size because I was like, I don't want to buy the big one because I don't know how it's going to react to my skin. Um, I'm usually a type of person that if I like a product, I'll just stick to that for as long as I can because I don't like to try new things because I have just suffered too much with my skin and I'm just scared that I will have a bad reaction to something. But I decided to try this one out and I, let me tell you guys, it is amazing so if you can get your hands on this one especially if you have oily skin like i do i would so recommend you to try this one out and obviously before doing this wash your hands because you do not want dirty hands touching your face once that's set um you're gonna go in with the primer and primer is also one of the, like those crucial steps that you need in makeup because that's what's gonna obviously hold your foundation it's gonna cover your pores all of that jazz i use the laura mercier hydrating primer and if you're thinking why are you using a hydrating if you're saying that your skin's oily it's not unusual for my powder to get me very dry especially like on this area right here where i bake the most and over here i tried this one out and it's honestly amazing even when i wear a matte foundation it still gives me that hydration to the skin that i need so if you're gonna use a super matte foundation then i would recommend if you just feel like matte is just getting you too dry try using a hydrating primer maybe that works better for you because that was the problem with me i just i started noticing that my face would get very dry and like it would start getting flaky but you're just gonna put it and also i like this one because it's sticky it's really gonna help that like lock in so here's where i start my part of my routine when it comes to full coverage this is how i start and i usually go in with a concealer and this is my all-time favorite concealer like ever i have been using this for so many years and i will never trade this for like anything and i just go in and i will go into any like blemishes that i have or any scarring that i have at the moment and don't blend it literally that's the trick here you're gonna just apply it and leave it like that without blending and leave it like that for a good three minutes before we get into foundation i just want to mention something that's super important but not many people talk about and that is what you're applying your foundation with over here there's many different options that you can use to apply your foundation they all apply foundation just fine but they all will apply it a lot different and will give you more coverage or less coverage. Beauty blenders will always give you the less coverage and that is because beauty blenders soak up your foundation. So if I want to do like just an everyday makeup or just something soft, I would definitely go in with this. And it's not that it's not going to give you full coverage. If you keep just applying more layers, you will eventually get to a full coverage. But you're just wasting more of your foundation. Next we have this brush and this is so old. I don't even use this but I still have it just for the video. Kabuki brushes are flat in the surface and they are so great when applying your foundation because it's obviously not soaking up the foundation it's gonna use the most out of your foundation this one is pretty good but it was too big it didn't allow me to go into small areas especially over here like inside i use this one and it's a lot smaller let me show you the comparison 
you guys see i love this one this one gives me such amazing coverage i really do love this brush and it's super soft it's not harsh at all which is something that i didn't like from this one also however if you're trying to get super like dramatic coverage and i'm telling you this from my own experience if this doesn't work for you don't come at me but this is what i've learned what i've learned in videos but the best brush to get the best coverage is this one right here which is just a big flat brush i used a flat brush up until high school all the way in middle school i will still use a flat brush in high school freshman year i still used it but hey flat brushes give you amazing coverage but the thing is it takes a long time this you have to go like precisely and like blend everything out but the coverage that this guy gives you it's amazing i'm gonna be using a beauty blender because like i said my face right now is not horrible so the foundation that i use and i always talk about this one also it's the dior forever uh matte foundation this thing is my holy grail another one that i like for coverage is the estee lauder I don't know what the name is. I think it's like the long wear 24 hour something. That foundation is amazing and it does not oxidize, which is the best part. I would usually, you know what? I don't know why I haven't used it. I feel like I should purchase it again because that foundation was amazing. This one right here, it's also the matte, the pro matte foundation. They also have a dewy one of this one, but this one gives you amazing coverage as well. And you guys can probably already start seeing the coverage that this foundation gives. It's amazing. Okay, so this is only just one layer. I'm not gonna add any more because as you can see, this foundation, oh my God, it's just, I just, so once I have that done, I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and I'm gonna go back to those spots. I don't know if on the camera you guys can see it, but I can definitely see it on my mirror here. I still have a little pimple right here that's visible and another one right here and another one over here. So I'm gonna go back in with the concealer and just cover that up. And this time I am gonna blend them, obviously. Now that I applied my concealer, I always go in with a powder foundation. I use this Neutrogena powder because I've been using it for ever since I was in middle school. I've used this one and I have never stopped using it but you don't have to try this one. Anything that you want, apply it on the areas where you added like the concealer to cover up your pimples. So over here, where I added mine. This step right here is so important to me because this is what sets the concealer. Even though I do bake after, this just gives it that extra set and your concealer is not gonna move. Like nobody's gonna see that pimple unless you touch your face and you're gonna go in like smudge your concealer everywhere. That's kind of like the little secret, you know? Everybody has their little secret to their routine. Well, this is my little secret to mine. Of course, after that, we're just gonna add concealer to the under eye. gonna bake i use my laura mercier this thing is holy grail it's one of those products also that i'm just i would never trade for anything else because it's so good some people don't bake because it's too drying but like i say i need to bake if i don't bake my foundation is gonna get so oily hey if you see me putting powder all over my face don't mind me and i put a little bit where I put like the concealer so that it completely stays there. I didn't say this before, but let me just say it now. I usually bake and do my eyes while I do that, but that can take a little while. If you feel like that's too long for you, 
there's no exact time to baking you can literally bake for two minutes if you want and then just wipe it off if you want to prevent any like creasing over drying in your skin okay I just wanted to put that out there. So that's pretty much it for the face. So let me just finish this up really quick. I'm not going to show all of that because it's not a makeup tutorial. So let me go do that really quick and I will be right back. So the makeup is done and as I did mention, I wasn't going to show the whole bronzer process, whatever. There is one thing I do want to talk about and that is setting spray. Setting spray is the last step to lock everything in together. So I saw Naked Tutorials a couple years ago. I think this was like... I think I was in eighth grade when she made this video and she talked about how she sprays her setting spray and then fans it dry. So what I do, well what she does but I copied from her, is I spray the setting spray and then I just fan my face. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in my other videos that I'm always doing this after my setting spray and it's because it's gonna give you that final airbrush finish to your makeup. This like final little step is so important with that being said i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that it's helpful to some of you guys or anybody here that just wants that little extra coverage doesn't matter if you do matte foundation if you prefer dewy coverage is coverage either way and that's what this video was meant for just to show you kind of little tricks little tiny steps that not everybody talks about to kind of enhance your foundation don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video